Hi, I'm Susan Francia, Olympic gold medalist in rowing. I'm here with my para partner, Aaron Cafaro. Um, and today's pro tip will be about technical rowing. One of the most important parts of the rowing stroke is the setup, much like on the rowing machine. So we're gonna start with good relaxed finish position. We'll come arms away and then body over. And we'll just slide with the relaxed knees up to the catch. Patience at the catch is one of the most overlooked parts of the stroke. It's really important that once you're finished with the recovering, you've come up and had a good placement into the water. You want to make sure that your chest is up, your core is supported, your grip is good, your wrist is flat here, and you're just relaxing your inside arm and this inside grip. People often tend to over grip here or here and use that inside lat, but actually you can just kind of feel that you're relaxed here at the catch, but also in a strong position to start your leg drive. A good drill to start to emphasize your uh, blade placement and also your catch position is doing what's called a top quarter drill. So you just start rowing just the top quarter of the stroke. Ready, go. Really try and keep that angle of your body. And line up. Once you feel comfortable doing the top quarter drill, you can move into completing the stroke. Again here, you want to use your legs first and really just using your upper and your arms to finish the stroke rather than pulling or yanking. Ready, bro. One of the critical things in the pair or the eight when you're sitting behind someone is really feeling their power. So that's very important on the drive. Like I was showing you with the top quarter drill, it's good to feel once you start the drive in your feet, you feel where the other person's power is being applied. That will help you match up with the person or people in your boat. That's my pro tip for you today on technical aspect of the catch.